What's up YouTube, Josh here with Game Hunters R Us. Here at the video, Waterloo Video Game Swap happening on March 29th, 2015. The swap is happening actually right behind the two couple of doors right here, right there going through. Um, set up as a vendor beside Canadian Retro, Longshot, and another YouTuber, uh, Bowser's Fartsack, who've been trying to get to make a channel, but he just hasn't yet. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna take you through the, um, the setup process. I have a, a, a limited a blue tape edition uh, Mario 3. Then I'm gonna try to get as many YouTubers as I can to sign, and it'll be interesting. So anyways, let's go check it out. All right, we got our first signee here. Awesome, thanks, brother. Hey, enjoy that. All right, take it easy. Thank you. Awesome, thanks, man. No problem. <laughs> All right, number two signature. Sweet. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. All right, we got number three. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get it on camera though. Hold on, what's up? I don't even know what I. I know I had the same problem signing my my YouTube. It's pretty hard to do, but. All right, you're good to go. Yeah, it's terrible. 
good. That's all good. That's all good. You good? One one zero eight. One one zero eight. You said stars many times. It's not them. What is up, YouTubers? Back at the house. Finally. <laughs> After a very long day at the Waterloo Video Game Swap, I am very, very tired. It's actually very exhausting uh, being a vendor, much more than I actually thought it would be. Um, but it's just a very different experience overall uh, that I'm not used to, so I think that's probably the, the main reason why I'm so tired. But uh, overall, I think it was a, a really great success. I had a lot of fun, met a lot of nice people. Um, and I picked up a few things, not as much as I normally would have in my past. Um, Waterloo video game swap pickup videos, uh, but still some decent stuff all around. Uh, before I get into that, I'm going to show you some stuff I did pick up this week. Uh, nothing super crazy good or anything like that. Um, I picked up one Wii, Wii game from uh, a pawn shop, and it's uh, Reload. Um, I'm kind of getting into like these uh, these shooter games on the uh, on the Wii. They're pretty cool. Um, they only wanted six bucks for this, which is totally worth it. I think it goes for like 25 or 30 bucks online. So uh, happy to get that. Uh, this next one, I have this case. I have a very um, long history with this game, just because of uh, yeah, it's a long story. If you if you want to know, like uh, just throw a question on our 400 subscriber contest video coming up. If you want to know more about this game, but I have a long history with this game and. Uh, it's uh, Miami Vice for the PSP. Super, super underrated game on the PSP by far. No one talks about this game, but it's absolutely amazing for a movie tie-in game. It's a lot of fun. It, it's essentially Resident Evil in uh, in in Miami, and it, again, it's not zombies, but like people who shoot back at you. Uh, but really cool. Um, I've had this game. I think this is my third time owning this game because I've it, it's been lost. It's been stolen. Um, yeah, it's been a, a rough story. Anyways, I had the case again from uh, the last time I I misplaced or lost or st had stolen uh, this game. So uh, the pawn shop that I went to had this for five bucks. So 
I picked it up, put the, put the game in my case, and I have this case uh, now, but I'll probably just put that up on eBay and, and trade it off. And this one is a surprise, I actually was not expecting it to be the price that it was. And it's uh, Dissidia Final Fantasy uh, for the PSP. Really great shape, it's almost brand new I would say, and this was only 5 bucks as well, so that was a no-brainer. So pick that up, really, really cool. Um, now on to the video game swap. Um, like I said, I was there with uh, Canadian Retro, Long Shot, um, Bowser's Fart Sack, uh, really great guy. Uh, all of them are really great guys. We had a lot of fun hanging out and uh, setting up tables. It was uh, really crazy. Bowser's Fart Sack set up on the uh, left side of uh, Long Shot and myself, and Canadian Retro was on the right. And there seemed to be a lot of activity on both of those tables, and then where me and Longshot were, uh, it was kind of a lull. And not that our prices were bad, like, they weren't high, they just, for some reason, they were just going there, they had better stuff than we did, I guess, so. But I mean, we did okay. And I'm sure if you want to see all about, about that, uh, check out Longshot's video that I'm sure is coming up if it's not out already, and uh, Canadian Retro's video as well. Um, but anyways, we got to setting up the table and uh, Longshot basically just pulls this out of his bag and said, Hey, I remember you talking about you wanted this, so here you go. And it's the Afro Samurai video game Ninja Ninja Limited Edition figure. Uh, it was like a promo thing, really cool. Um, I don't like anime, but I love Afro Samurai. I don't know, for some reason it just clicks with me. It's really cool. Uh, but really happy to get that and uh, the figure inside was, uh, I'm gonna be bad because I love the show but I don't even know this character's name, but uh, it's essentially like uh, Afro Samurai's little guide, his conscience voice, but really cool, I put him on it, he's got a little stand and everything and it came in pieces, but really cool, he's got his wavy scarf coming out, and uh, really happy, really happy to get that, that's gonna sit on my shelf for sure, my shelf for sure, anyways, very cool. Uh, next, I had another um, subscriber uh, come to me. I'm, I met him before in person in uh, kind of around Value Villages, and we uh, Facebook messaged back and forth once in a while. And uh, he was interested in the game, and then I don't know, for some reason things just kind of fell apart. And then we ever did the did the, the trade for the game that he wanted. Anyways, I saw him there, so I just called him over and I, I gave it to him. Uh, it wasn't much. I think it was like Kiss Pinball, I think, for the PS One. I, um, I would never play it, and it's something he wanted, so it's, it's better in his hands than in mine. And then uh, he said, oh, well, I've got something for you. So he went to his table, he was selling things as well. And uh, com comes back with this game, which is really cool, and it's Dragon's Lair 3 for the P PC. Uh, big Box PC game. Really cool. I've been loving the Dragon's Lair series. Uh, I picked them up on the, uh, the GameCube and also the DVD games as well. But really happy to get that. I'll have to try to install that on my computer at some point, but uh, really cool. So thank you very much. Uh, I gotta figure out kind of the uh, the order of things here. Um, I picked up this game from Longshot. It's funny because as vendors, we weren't like out on the floor running around looking for games. So we spent a lot of time looking at each other's stuff, and eventually, you know, stuff just looks so good, you ended up buying it. So, uh, But this is actually something I have been looking for, and uh, people are gonna think, why the heck don't you have this game already? It's so common. And uh, I've, I've seen this game, but it's always been in really bad condition every time I've seen it. So, uh, Longshot had, had a good condition copy, so I just grabbed it. And it's uh, Crimson Skies for the original Xbox. I'm uh, really happy to get that. I, I really want to try out the flying in this game. It looks looks really cool. So, uh, happy to get that. So, thank you very much, Longshot, for that. And uh, i got to figure more stuff out. Uh, next, I went over to uh, Canadian Retro's booth. And uh, looked around, he wasn't there at the time. I saw this game and I just kind of stole it and put it at my table. I figured I'd pay him later. And uh, he eventually just said, you know what, man, you can just have it. And he didn't really care about it. So uh, this game isn't anything big, it's on the Genesis. I used to have the Tiger handheld of this game and I have the poster um, for it as well. And so it's always been a game ever since I was a kid. I've seen it on my posters and things like that. I always wanted to play it and it's uh, Eternal Champions. Uh, for the Genesis. I, I don't know a whole lot about it, and I think what I have seen of it, it doesn't look that great, but it's just one of those things where I just remember seeing uh, all the hype about it and all the promo materials, and it made me want the game as a, as a kid, so uh, now, you know, 20, 25 years later, I'm picking it up, so uh, that's awesome. 
Uh, so thank you, Canadian Retro, by the way. Thank you very much for that. It, it actually means quite a bit to me. Um, next, I'm trying to figure out what I did. Um, I did a trade with Ben, actually. He had this game. I have it as well, but not in this version of it. Um, and I'm just going to get rid of my other one. Uh, it's God of War Ghost of Sparta. Um, I have Chains of Olympus on the PSP, but I didn't have this one. And this one I could not find at all for some stupid reason. Um, I know I can get the Origins Collection on the... Uh, the PS3, and I'll probably do that eventually at some point as well, but uh, I just figured I'd grab the physical copy as well, and we just traded for um, a game a, uh, a game that he wanted uh, for a new system he just got, so uh, thank you, Ben, for that, and uh, hopefully he'll put up a video soon and you'll see what he got uh, from the swap. Oh, what, what next, what next? Oh, uh, so next I did another trade with uh, Canadian Retro. Uh, for this game, I, it was a, a Wii game and a bit of cash for this game. It's uh, Super Smash Bros. Brawl for the Wii. I didn't have this game actually. Um, I still need to get the one for the Wii and the N64. Uh, and then I'll have all the Smash Bros. games. So, uh, the Wii U and, and, the, and the N64. Uh, but yeah, I've uh, been meaning to get that one for a while. And so, thank you very much, Danny Rachel, for the deal on that. Um, as you can tell by the video, um, Many many YouTubers stopped by. I mean, we had uh, Buried on Mars came by, uh, Game Rescue came by. I don't think he's in the video, but he did swing by the the, the booth and say hi. Uh, CJR, um, man, I can't even remember everybody. Uh, Liquid Wayno came by and actually ended up talking with him quite a bit and did a did a trade. Um, he saw something he wanted, and I'm sure again it'll be in his video. So be sure to watch his channel for the video coming up. And uh, I just, I had no use for it again. So, I mean, I'm not about ripping people off, so I just gave it to him. And uh, later I saw something he wanted. I just needed the case for this game. And he was just like, you know what, man, you can just have it. So I guess, you know, thank you very much, man. It's, it's not, uh, it's not, I don't deserve it by any means, but uh, I, I definitely appreciate your generosity. And it's uh, Mario Kart DS, uh, for the DS, obviously in the name so uh, thank you very much this is uh, complete and everything so um, I can't can't thank you enough for that it's really awesome for you to give that to me and then uh, I picked this game up of, off of him uh, later near the end of the show it's uh, Splatterhouse for the 360 been meaning to, to pick up this game for a while actually and just never did again it's just one of those games that slips under the radar uh, but he gave me a great deal on that as well. So thank you very much, Liquid Wayno. Uh, if you're not subscribed to Liquid Wayno, I gave him a shout out in my last video, but be sure to go check him out. Um, again, any pictures you see up here, click on them, take you right to the channel. That's the best way to do it. I'll also leave their links down in the description below. Be sure to check them out there for sure. They're all really great guys. Um, the last two games I picked up from Bowser's Fart Sack. Um, he's by the, one of the coolest dudes again. I said it in our, the last show video that we went to, or that I went to with him and uh, Canadian Retro, and um, again he just he cuts me deals left, right, and center, and I, I can't thank him enough for all the, the cool the cool stuff he's given me. Um, the first thing I picked up from him was Demon Souls on the PS3. Now, surprisingly enough, I've been watching this game a lot at GameStop or EB Games. Every time I see it, though, it's greatest hits and it's the red box and it's the red red everything, and I hate. I hate the red on the PS3. I don't. I don't know why. Greatest hits. It just looks so ugly. So I've been keeping my eye out for a, a black label version of this for a long time. Uh, and uh, Bowser's Fart my, the Bowser's Fart Sack hooked me up on that. So thank you very much, man. And same with this game. I bought it from him as well. He gave me gave me bro price on it for sure. Uh, it's an Xbox 360 exclusive, and that's Death Smiles. Uh, again, another another game I've been eyeing up at the at the EB Games and just never picked up. So, uh, really happy to get that. So, uh, so that's it. Thank you, everyone that I met at the swaps: CJR, Liquid Wayno, Buried on Mars, uh, Game Rescue, Canadian Retro, Long Shot. Uh, gosh, I can't even remember everyone. So, if I forgot you, but I met you, uh, please accept my thanks for for being so cool and being so accepting of. of of us uh, in the YouTube community and the gaming community. It's been a great time getting to know every single one of you. Um, be sure to leave a comment down below. Uh, let me know what you picked up at the swap um, and if you've got a video to it, be sure to leave a link down below where I can find it and see what you got. Um, that is everything. Thank you so much for sticking around and watching the whole video and I will see you guys next time.